All right, y'all, good morning. We made it another week. We made it back to Friday. Today, we're going to talk about a failed inspection because of a wrong brand breaker. All right, so here's the score on this one. This one happens all the time. It can happen to the experienced, the inexperienced, and everyone in between. But you may not know it, but every single brand of panel has a specific set of breakers that its panel is legally allowed to take. Now, you can get others to fit in there, but it's not legal. And this is one that my HVAC friend do all the time they'll have a GE it'll fit they'll put it in well it doesn't work like that you have to use the one and the part numbers that are listed for your specific panel well let's ask the question well what if I've got one of these old panels and they don't make those brand breakers anymore well there are certain exceptions there where let's say Siemens bought a specific brand back in the 80s well they probably would have ran those breakers until the 90s and then they would have discontinued them but Siemens will continue to manufacture their own breakers with that listing and labeling on that breaker. So there are panels out there that are a different brand that you can legally put a Siemens in. But Siemens has paperwork saying, hey, we've tested these, we've had them UL listed, and you can put our new Siemens breakers into these old panels because we bought them. Now, lots of different brands will fit, but it fitting and it being legal are two different things. So this is something you really got to watch out for, especially if you're doing HVAC or any you know service work or anything like that. Just because it fits doesn't mean it ships. You got to make sure you use the right brand breaker. I am the Electrical Code Coach. Let's go ahead and get to it. Hey, y'all, we made it another week. I hope you guys have a great day. Let's get out here and get to it today. Y'all stay safe out there. And if you need anything from me, just shoot me an email at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it. Thank you.